questions for Han Lu. At the end of the film, Han Lu boldly confessed on the edge of the cliff and kissed Ni Ker. Ni Ker kept saying he was himself, and Han Lu did it. In the end, the two of them opened a children's martial arts school, and the ending was very happy. I have watched this film several times, and it looks very warm, especially during the match between two people. Han Lu has already lost control of her emotions. Han Lu showed a little anger towards Ni Ker's frivolity and the queen showed jealousy towards Ni Ke's pursuit. Although she was a fan of others, she said she wasn't, but Ni Ke always looked carefree and frivolous. In fact, she was very responsible. She threw away her phone in the classroom and permanently withdrew from the broadcasting industry as a substitute. She completed a series of dangerous actions because she fell in love with Han Lu. Han Lu has been proving herself living a restrained life and never being her true self. After meeting Ni Ke, she knows what it means to respect her true self. Han Lu's cousin and Bi Sheng represent a microcosm of the anti-lesbian community in society. They always feel that lesbian people are neither male nor female, abnormal and unreasonable. In fact, it is normal for them to always wear colored glasses to see people. And when they encounter people who are not of the same kind as themselves, they always judge first and then define them, they will never understand that love has a thousand